This is a brief overview of the 2020 Reset Partner Challenge to help answer any questions that may come up. The goal of the challenge is to reset our brains towards self-awareness and mindfulness. The pandemic threw all of us out of our normal routine and in our adapting to survive, we may have lost some of those daily habits that were really good for us. Um, the reason for the partner is because research shows that accountability and support equals a greater chance of success. And the goal here is progress over over perfection. So each day there are six different tasks that you can complete. For every task that you complete, you get one point. Do you have to do all of them? No, I do not expect anybody to do every single task every day. The goal here is to see what we're good at, what we're paying attention to, and maybe the areas that we need to work on in the future. So, First thing is eat three meals. Do you have to eat exactly three meals? No. That is just a good way of saying we're eating mindfully. We're paying attention to when we eat. We're making sure we eat at regular intervals. So if you're a person that you eat five meals a day and they're smaller and that works for you, then that's fine. We just want to make sure that we're getting enough food regularly and that we're not going without food for so long that we're starving at the end of the day and eating everything that's not nailed down. 60 to 80 ounces of water is the standard for most individuals. Uh, we know that water is good for us. We know that it promotes optimal body function. A great way to get your water intake up is to start out the day with four to six ounces immediately. So have that bottle ready when you go to bed and you can just grab it when you wake up. Spread out that intake throughout the day. Don't try to get all 60 ounces in in the morning and then none in the afternoon. Make sure it's kind of an even distribution. Exercise 30 minutes a day. The definition is there for you. There are some examples. Um, most of us inherently know when we're exercising, so just use your best judgment on this one and give yourself a point when you get that 30 minutes in. Seven to nine hours of sleep. This might be difficult for some of us, but we know that sleep is super important, again, for that optimal body function. When we are tired, we crave sugar, we crave junk food, and we just feel foggy. We don't do as well at work or with our kids. So we want to make sure we're getting good sleep and getting enough of it. A great way to start out that pattern is to try to go to bed at the same time each night, preferably earlier than you think you should. Limiting alcohol consumption. We know that alcohol contains sugar. We know that alcohol dehydrates, dehydrates us and we know that it sometimes comes with other negative effects. So on the days that you don't consume any alcohol, give yourself a point. On the days that you do consume alcohol, just be mindful. How often am I doing this? How much am I drinking in one sitting? Consuming half a plate of vegetables at one meal is a different way to visualize your vegetable consumption other than that standard three to five servings per day. If you have a standard dinner plate and you say to yourself, I'm going to put vegetables on half of this dinner plate and then if you try to eat those vegetables first you're going to feel fuller a little bit faster and you're going to get those valuable vitamins and minerals in and it's just a great way to try to get that vegetable intake up so anytime that you do this at one of your meals during the day give yourself a point for that day further questions feel free to email me i hope you guys have a great time doing this challenge with your partner and i hope that you learn how to be a little bit more mindful about your behaviors and maybe we can see some of the areas that we need to work on in the future